China has come up with its proposal for saving the world in the event of an asteroid heading toward us. Here's what you need to know. China could save the world from an asteroid impact by launching a fleet of rockets into space to divert its path, according to a government-funded paper published in the Science Direct Journal. The scientists' calculations are based around the asteroid known as Bennu, which is orbiting the Sun and is as wide as the Empire State Building is tall, according to Reuters. Bennu will come within about 4.6 million miles or 7.5 million kilometers of Earth's orbit next century, according to NASA, and between the years 2175 and 2199, the chance that Bennu will impact Earth is 1 in 2700. The idea behind the Chinese study is that China could launch 23 Long March 5 rockets, each weighing almost 900 tons on takeoff to deflect the asteroid's path. The rockets would be made up of an assembled kinetic impactor retained within the launch vehicle upper stage that sends the spacecraft into an Earth-escaping trajectory in order to add extra weight and increase impact on the asteroid. Researchers found in simulations that these vehicles could deflect a large asteroid from its original path by a distance of 1.4 times the Earth's radius, according to a report in the South China Morning Post. The plan does not rely on nuclear technology, which is thought to be an advantage as a nuclear blast could break any target into several threatening chunks. The Chinese study says it has an advantage over a similar 2018 proposal worked on by NASA. It says NASA would use 75 Delta IV heavy rockets, each carrying one hammer impactor, to knock the asteroid off course against just 23 vehicles needed here. Lower numbers are ideal because the more launches required for success, the more difficult the mission due to the failure rate of each individual launch, according to one Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory scientist who was part of the NASA proposal. Either proposal would need a long time to get off the ground, however. The Chinese study says it could get off the ground in a decade, and NASA's 2018 study included various scenarios playing out between 10 and 25 years. Neither effort challenges the recent calculation by a group of scientists from NASA and other space agencies that concluded no one could do anything to stop an asteroid hitting the planet if it was seen with only six months warning. Having used a scenario where an asteroid was spotted 35 million miles from Earth, Paul Shodas, manager of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, told Business Insider in March that we would need a minimum of five years to stop any threat. However, MIT astronomer Richard Binzel concluded we would need at least 10 years in order to study aspects of the asteroid, such as its size, its path around the Sun, and what it's made up of. Whoever's calculation you use, it's clear that the possibility of an asteroid striking Earth is being taken seriously by scientists across the world. Legislation created in 2005 directed NASA to find 90% of near-Earth objects 140 meters or larger by 2021. According to Business Insider, NASA has currently only tracked 40%. Some asteroids are as small as pebbles, but others are hundreds of kilometers across, according to the South China Morning Post. An asteroid about 500 meters or 1,640 feet wide, such as Bennu, could kill millions. The asteroid that led to the dinosaur's extinction was about 10 kilometers or 6 miles wide. More cheerfully, the new Chinese proposal represents somewhat of a redemption arc for the Long March 5 rocket, which has been associated more with falling down than going up. What goes up must come down. This isn't the official motto of the Chinese space program, but if anyone has their email address, maybe we can pitch it to them, because yet another of their rockets has just made an uncontrolled return to Earth. Here's what you need to know. Remnants of the Chinese Long March 5B rocket that was launched last month have crashed back down to Earth and into the Indian Ocean at a speed of around 4.8 miles per second, according to Reuters. On Sunday, Chinese state media, citing the China Manned Space Engineering Office, said the rocket debris had mostly burned up upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. However, footage of the rocket's uncontrolled descent was recorded from Jordan, Oman, and Saudi Arabia, according to The Guardian. Corroborating those images, the monitoring service SpaceTrack, which uses U.S. military data, said the rocket was recorded above Saudi Arabia before falling into the Indian Ocean to the west of the Maldives. After days of speculation that the debris could hit land and endanger lives, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said in a statement on NASA's website, it is clear that China is failing to meet responsible standards regarding their space debris. Wang Wenbin, a spokesman for China's foreign ministry, dismissed concerns about the re-entry, saying it is common practice across the world for upper stages of rockets to burn up while re-entering the atmosphere. 
Emphasizing the lack of controlled outcome, Harvard-based astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell said the debris could have landed as far north as New York or as far south as southern Chile, according to The Guardian. The crash may not have been the only potentially dangerous part of this mission, either. On Monday, McDowell tweeted that the module the Long March 5B rocket launched into space had come within 300 kilometers of the International Space Station, close enough to raise the possibility of it being a deliberate gesture, according to McDowell. For anyone excited to find out when the next piece of Chinese engineering could land on their heads, the Shenzhou-12 mission will use a Long March 2F rocket to send three astronauts into low Earth orbit in June, according to Space.com. It's that time again. Remain indoors if at all possible, stock up on food, and if you must go out, whatever you do, keep your eyes fixed on the sky at all times. Of course, what we're talking about is the fact that China has just launched a new rocket into space, and we all know what happens when it does that, right? Regular viewers will remember that the Long March 5B rocket it used to send the Tianhe module of its space station into orbit memorably crashed to Earth last month, causing widespread criticism. So the question now is, what could be falling on our heads next? Here's what you need to know. China has launched three astronauts up to its new space station from its Zhoushan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China, according to Space.com, its first crewed mission in almost five years. The astronauts are aboard the Shenzhou-12 spaceship, which was propelled by a Long March 2F Y-12 rocket, according to the Associated Press. Space.com reports that Shenzhou-12's launch is the third of 11 required to build China's new space station, which it expects to complete before 2023. Already in position are the Tianhe core module, which contains the astronauts' living quarters, and the robotic Tianzhou-2 cargo craft, which attached to the core module late last month. Shenzhou-12 will dock with the core module, and the astronauts will then spend three months aboard. Tianhe is the third set of living quarters China has sent up to space after Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2. However, it is much larger than those vessels at 54 feet or 16.6 meters long versus their 34 feet or 10.4 meters. The core module contains three separate bedrooms and three times more interior space than its predecessors, Space.com reports, citing China's state-run press agency Xinhua. Once they have docked, the three astronauts will set up testing and experiments and conduct a series of spacewalks, according to the Associated Press. Two further lab modules called Wentian and Mengtian will complete the space station when they are attached to either side of Tianhe next year, according to Space.com, leaving it about 15% of the size of the International Space Station. The launch of the Tianhe module last month was criticized after part of the rocket that carried it to space made an uncontrolled re-entry to Earth. However, Ji Qiming, assistant director of China's manned space agency, dismissed the possibility of that happening again, according to the Associated Press. China has published the rocket's trajectory and and it is expected to burn up well before it could cause any danger, he said. So, China says we should all be safe this time, and Ji even took the time to offer out a hand of friendship regarding the use of its new station. Outer space is the commonwealth of people all over the world, and exploring the universe is the shared cause of all mankind, Ji said. He then added, I believe that in the near future, when the Chinese space station is complete, we will see Chinese and foreign astronauts taking on joint missions to the Chinese space station. Of course, in international politics, altruism should always be viewed with some suspicion, and there it is clear that China sees space as an important source of power. In fact, with the Associated Press reporting that the Chinese station is intended to be used for 15 years, it is likely to outlast the International Space Station, which is nearing the end of its lifespan. This could mean that very soon, humanity's only working space station is owned by China. That's a very interesting position for the U.S. to be in, given it blocked Chinese involvement in the International Space Station. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.